product. Um, I'm on this kick of showing uh, some real estate agents or maybe some management groups for um, properties on how to get better coverage of their properties. My wife has recently become a couple banker agent, so that's really got me onto this whole whole thing. And plus, I just if you see my first video, you'll you'll find out real quick that I enjoy teaching people the things that I've been doing for the past roughly 10 years. Um, so anyway, mag filter came in. Um, I first saw this on Cheesy Cam and uh, CheesyCam.com, and uh, when the guy there at the website was showing um, a review on this filter system, basically um, it's a filter mounting system basically is what that is. Uh, he mentioned, he said, you know, this would probably be a great idea for real, estates, uh, real estate agents uh, to get a better wi wider angle lens uh, view for their point and shoots. So just real quick, uh, it, came, it comes in a bag, a little bubble bag. The bag comes in... Um, with the filter system itself. I love the filter system. It is uh, aluminum. Um, it comes with one ring and comes with a spare. And then I ordered two more just because I know um, how to put the filter on. I'm probably going to miss the target a couple times. And this right here was like $5 and something, um, $5.99. And the uh, filter system that comes with these, basically these three pieces, you can pull the little ring off um, is right at $30. And the way this works is I got a point and shoot here. This is the love this camera, uh, Canon G15. It's doing some great stuff. I uh, love the manual abilities of it, manual adjustments. Uh, anyway, you're going to basically want to put this in the front of your camera so that um, you can drop in a filter, wide angle uh, filter. I got a cheap $11, just trying it out, uh, Vivitar filter that gives you a wide angle view. And this filter right here will not immediately work on a point and shoot. So that's what that system right here, the mag filter system takes care of. It, it, it allows it to fit on there mag magnetically because you take these little rings, you they have some adhesives on one side, you put it on there and you gotta line it up just right. And then that allows, when that ring's on there, that allows the system to basically stick to it. And that magnet's pretty strong once it's locked in there. Um, and that's gonna allow me to thread this filter at the wide angle on there. Now, um, whoops, I just took off the adhesive and I was trying not to do that. Um, the idea of this is to, let's just see if I can roughly show you. Um, if I take this uh, wide angle, and let me just take this and this right here, and maybe this right here. And let's look inside this lens here. Whoops. And you can see that we're roughly seeing, I mean, if I, let's see, no, you're not going to be able to see that. Okay, now we see three things there. And you can see they're all the way on the sides of the screen. Now, I'm just going to handhold this because I haven't mounted the mag filter system on there yet. But watch the little viewfinder. Uh, again, you got the little uh, filter bag there and you got the little adapter there. Now, watch how much more you get and the shot, how that side just, see that's really close up. You just see the three objects and then this just completely widens it up. Now there's some, there is some vignetting, vignetting being that uh, some dark areas in the corners going on. I found out through another YouTube um, channel where this guy says uh, he's having problems with that vignetting and he wanted to see if a wider um, ring in the front, wider lens in the front would help that. And he says it does. So I have a 58 millimeter, the widest I can go with uh, the mag filter. 58 millimeter ring in the, in the back side and the front side. Um, I'm not even sure what this is. It's a cheap little $11 one. Uh, it's a, a step up, whatever it is. 
that works for now. I have to push in to get rid of the vignetting. What I mean by pushing in is that um, I have to, I keep on turning this camera off. I'm still trying to get used to it. I have to uh, zoom in, you know, not that much, obviously, I'm just showing you. I have to zoom in to uh, get rid of the vignetting because it's going to show up in the corners uh, once that filter is on there. You can kind of see the corners got a little dark. There it is. I'm over exaggerating. But anyway, if I get a larger eye, front lens, front part of the lens of the filter, that should take care of it because it's getting out of the view of the of the camera's lens. Now, when I go to video mode, um, obviously that's where a lot of people are going to want to use this. It's not as bad because the video mode is going to be smaller than the um, uh, than the picture mode. Less vignetting, uh, not much of a hassle. So cool stuff. Uh, I like it a whole lot. Um, I'm going to mount it up on this camera and get some test shots. And that will probably be in a later video. So thanks again for watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. Uh, i got more stuff coming for agents and uh, property management groups. Uh, more to come. That's uh, videotours.tv. Thanks.